growth in November was much better than expected. Yet, layoffs at big tech companies, Twitter, Meta, Amazon, Salesforce, more, they're making headlines. So what is the likelihood that mass layoffs will hit other industries as well? For more now on the jobs market, we're joined by CNBC's senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Epperson. Sharon. Well, you know, we're looking at these numbers, Brian, and we're saying, well, they must be mega layoffs, looking at 320 thousand job cuts so far this year but actually that number is the lowest number according to challenger gray and christmas that they've seen since they started looking at these numbers in 1993 what's what are we hearing about we're hearing about tech we're hearing about the tech layoffs that you mentioned the companies that you talked about as one story on cbc.com puts it they're loud layoffs they're in the social media they're in the media mm -hmm. we're talking about them all the time but the reality is the layoff numbers that we're seeing in automotive, in healthcare, services, retail, not nearly as high as what we're seeing in technology. But still, it's making people think about it and worry about it for their own jobs. Well, and so that's leading them to do something that you, maybe this is your term, I'm going to quote Sharon back to Sharon, career cushioning. That's what HR... I've heard of quiet quitting. quiet quitting. Quiet quitting. What's career cushioning? Now we're talking about career cushioning. This is a term that I did not come up with that HR leaders are looking at. And it's what is a tried and true strategy of making sure that you protect and secure your greatest asset, your career. Making sure that you are positioning for a new job because you're concerned about the job mm. you have. You're looking at your resume. You're building new skills. You're networking with as many people as possible inside and outside of your company. But what business leaders need to know is their employees are doing this. They're concerned and they're worried and looking elsewhere at the uh, moment. All right. So if I'm an HR department and I think my employees are looking elsewhere, I can maybe they, they, maybe they're talking about it in the open or they're disgruntled or whatever. What's some advice to those folks, the HR folks? Well, I think management needs to be honest about where they are in, the, in, in their industry and, and whether or not they're going to be resilient in the year ahead. What do people need to be doing? What, how can they build confidence in what they're doing now in their reorganization strategy if they have one? And talk to the people that you want to retain about their career plans. What have they done that's good for the company? Mm -hmm. What do they do, need to do more of? Give them some guidance and some indication that you want them to remain there. And then also how they can benefit from staying with your company and not going elsewhere, knowing that they're already looking. You think the, the uh, pace of pay hikes is starting to slow? Because for two years, I mean, top talent could pretty much name their price or they bolt. I think a lot of people may not be negotiating as hard because they want to make sure that they have a job, particularly if they've been laid off or if they're concerned that that's going to happen. So that may indeed happen. Sounds well. like the power is flipping back to the, to the or company. At least, or at least getting more even. Mo moderating a bit. Yeah. All right, Sharon Epperson, All always right. great stuff on the job market. Thank you, Sharon. Appreciate sure. it. Sure.